Tell us a little bit about what the Sustainable Development Goals mean for you. Through the Sustainability Goals, it will give me a chance for me to speak out for my own community, for the people living in my own community, and through this sustainability goal, we'll be able to impact different things in people's lives, and through that, we'll be able to make our communities continue growing each and every day. Um, living in the slum is not bad. People might think that it's so miserable, it's, but this is like its own country. It's like we are in a different world. A world full of happiness, a world full of unity, a world full of love, a world full of togetherness and hard work. The people in this room represent leadership in a number of places. When you look at them, what message do you have for them? Life is not about who you are, but what you think you are made of. If you believe you are made of greatness, then that means that you can be able to achieve every goal you set ahead of you. And this goes to all women in this room, that we all have to speak out for our rights, stand up for what you believe in, and through that we can be able to change our own communities and make them a better place. Tell us a little bit about the summer camp, what you did, and what are the leadership lessons that you okay. came away with? I was, I was attending a summer program at Miss Potters, which is in US, at Farmington. And through, uh, and through the leadership camp, I learned a lot. I learned how to be, to be independent. I learned how to overcome my fears. I learned how to come out of my comfort zone. Since I am the head girl of my school, I have to teach the different prefects in my school about what are some of the leader, uh, qualities of our leaders that we need to be able to sustain the school and like uh, showcase that we can be able to change our own communities as, as girls. What do you see the world looking like when you're 27? What do you hope the world will look like? Mm -hmm. And what do you think it's actually gonna look like? It will be a free corrupt world. It will be a free FGM world, a world of women leaders, a world of women who have I've made it in life, a world <laughs> full of girl power, a world of women leaders, and a, a world of girls who have achieved it and made it in life. <laughs> this is the question I've always asked you. Where do you see Safari come in five years? Five years from now, and indeed beyond, we would like to think, as the chairman has said, uh, we would like to be a thriving company. We'd like to be a successful company. So in Safaricom, we define success not by the profit that we make, but by the different we make, difference we make. We'd like to make a difference to you as a young female Kenyan. Do you believe in girl power? And if you believe in girl power, what are some of the things you've done for girls in the community? And how have you been able to empower girls outside there? The person that you see today was formed much more by the influence of the women in my life than the men of my life. We estimate that the value of women's equality, it will contribute something like $28 trillion to the to world's economy. That we actually have a child rights policy. We don't believe there's any other company in Kenya that has a child rights policy. We give um, overweight to the girls in internship, so at any one point we have about 20 girls through internship, which is more than boys, because we believe that we need to expose girls as much as we can to what, is, what life is like working in a company like ours. What advice can you give to aspiring leaders like me? Remember where you've come from. I remember deeply where I've come from. I've come from a background um, which is a poor background, where we didn't have a, you know, a shower in the house. There is a deep sense of responsibility. And the, the more you grow, the bigger that sense of responsibility. You have grown a great deal since I first met you. When I, when I saw you again in Kibera a month or so ago, um, you know, I can see how you're interacting with the younger children. I can see how you've taken those leadership lessons and how you're trying to make a difference because you know what it's like to be like them. And what I would say to most people is just, just have a memory of where you've come from.